um, it's been in the Senate where we've seen the Breakfast After the Bell bill stall before, despite having bipartisan support in the House. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering if you could address for us how the legislature might be working with the incoming superintendent to carry out some of those visions that he has for improving access to nutritious food for our children. Great, thank you. And uh, I was glad to support that bill in the House. Um, you know, I think one of the things that was very persuasive to me as I weighed that issue was having uh, folks from my local food banks come to me and say that, that you gotta pass this bill. And, uh, um, you know, I think as people on the Republican side who are uh, gonna start with a, a framework that is fiscally conservative, that they, they are going to, uh, they're gonna wanna have those local folks coming to ask them to pass that bill. So as much as you can engage uh, people at that local level where there, there's an existing relationship with that legislator, I think that, that can be very powerful. 